Hello, I'm Kate from The Makery and I'm going to show you today how to make a lovely drum lampshade. So for this project you will need a lampshade ring set, like this one here, some lampshade PVC, some fabric, some lampshade tape, so there's 3mm wide and 9mm wide lampshade tape, and then also some fabric and paper scissors, a tape measure and some pins. So the first thing we need to do is take your ring set and measure its circumference. And then you need to add two centimeters onto whatever measurement you get. So in this case, the circumference is 62 and a half centimeters. So then if I add two centimeters on, that makes 64 and a half centimeters. And that 64 and a half is going to be the length that I cut my PVC to. Then you need to work out the width or the height of your um, lampshade. So I'm going, I'd like my lampshade to be 17 centimetres high, so I'm going to cut my PVC's width to 17 centimetres. Now we need to work out exactly where we'd like it to be positioned onto the fabric. So if you lay your fabric out in front of you with the right side facing up, make sure it's nicely ironed so it's nice and flat. And then you can just have a play around and see where you'd like the PVC to sit because the piece of fabric that the PVC covers is the fabric that's going to be on the outside of your lampshade. So once you've decided, if you just pop some pins around the outside, just roughly, of the PVC, just through the fabric, and then that will show you whereabouts the um, PVC is going to sit once you take it away. Now I've turned my fabric over in front of me and the next thing we need to do is take our PVC and you'll see that it's um, got its self-adhesive, it's got some paper on the back that you can peel off. This PVC is a lovely copper colour but you can get it in all sorts of colours or just white if you'd like to or you can get this mirrored effect one as well, it's great. So you carefully peel off the back of the PVC and then what you want to do is place the PVC carefully onto the back of your fabric in between those pins that you put on the front. So once you've positioned your PVC, if you just carefully place it on and then pull the paper down and as you work along, just press the PVC down onto the fabric. You'll want to make sure beforehand that your fabric is free of any pieces of thread or dirt that may have slipped onto it. There we go. And so just take some time to gently firm down the PVC onto the back of the fabric like that. So the next thing we need to do is start applying the lampshade tape onto the PVC and the fabric. So if you take your 9mm wide tape first and you want to take one of the short ends of the PVC and this is the short end that's going to be on the outside, so if, if there is a short end that you prefer the look of, then choose that one. Take your 9mm tape and put it onto your fabric, but so that it's butted up against the short end of the PVC, like so. Then you can cut your fabric along the edge of that tape, so that the fabric is flush with the tape. Just peel the back off the tape, like that, and then fold it over onto the PVC, and that's going to give you a nice neat end of fabric. So now, again, using your nine millimeter tape, we want to run a length of it, again, onto the fabric, but butted up with the two long edges of the PVC. So you want to do it all the way down the top, and you also want to do it all the way down the bottom as well. There we go. And now, if you take your three millimetre wide lampshade tape, and this time you want to run a length of it down along the top and the bottom, but placing it on top of the PVC so that it's butted up against the piece of tape that you just popped down. And we'll repeat that along the bottom as well. So 
So now you've got a taped up piece of PVC and lampshade, so you can use your fabric scissors and cut the fabric all the way along those two long edges, butting it up against the tape and down the unfinished short edge as well. So the final piece of tape that you need to apply is again the nine millimeter wide fabric tape and this time it needs to be put on top of the fabric on that neat and short end, like so. Okay, so now it's time to apply the ring set onto the PVC. So first of all, you just need to work out which is your top and which is your bottom, if there is a top and a bottom to your lampshade. And then you also need to think about whether you'd like your lampshade to be a pendant lampshade hanging from the ceiling or one that you're going to pop onto a lampstand. So if it's from the ceiling, then this piece of the ring set needs to go at the top. And if it's onto a lampstand, then this piece of the ring set needs to go onto the bottom like that. And you always need to make sure that this, the spokes are po pointing towards the center of the lampshade. So then if you just peel off the backing, from both pieces of the three millimeter wide tape that you've run along the top. And then you can also take off the backing from the tape that we just popped along the neat edge of the fabric as well. And then if you sit with your, or stand with your fabric facing away from you with the neatened end at the far end, and then pop both of the pieces of the ring set onto the three millimeter tape like that. And this is a little bit fiddly, so you might want to have a partner to do it with you, or especially if you've got a larger lampshade, that's much easier with two people. And just carefully roll the ring sets along the PVC until you get to the other end. And then when you get to the other end, if you just push it down, along that seam just to hold it nice and tight. Right, so it's starting to take shape now. So the last couple of jobs are to remove the backing from the remaining two pieces of tape that we've got on the fabric. So we'll do that from the bottom piece first. And so on this lampshade, that's the piece with no spokes. There we go. And then you can just carefully roll the fabric over the ring set to hold it in place so that it ends up being nice and neat, like that. And just use your nails to, and your fingers to really tuck it underneath the ring set like that. And then if you turn it over, you'll see that this time we've got the spokes. So you just need to cut a little V out of each of the pieces of the fabric where those spokes lie. And again, we can take the backing from the tape and then do exactly the same as we did on the other side and just push the fabric down so that it clings to the ring set, and makes it nice and neat. There we go, a lovely looking finished drum lampshade. If you've got any questions at all, then please write your questions in the comments box below and we'd be really, really happy to get back to you. And also, if you'd like to see all the new exciting videos that we've got coming up, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks very much, bye.